Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make this fluid simulation in Blender 2.8 using the Flip Fluids add-on. You can also use the default simulator, but it's not going to look as great. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And make sure to follow my uh, new Instagram, where I plan to post a lot of uh, Flip Fluid simulations in the future. Okay, so let's start off by setting the viewport display of the default cube to wireframe as this will be our uh, domain, which is the boundary of the simulation, then press S to scale, and then press number 1 to go to front view, and then number 5 for orthographic view, and then press G, then set to grab it on the z-axis, and uh, G, then set to grab it on the z-axis once again. Okay, and then let's add a uh, floor, so uh, go to add, And then uh, mesh, and then add a plane. Then press S to scale. And uh, then let's add the inflow object. So uh, go to add, mesh, and then let's add a uh, cylinder. Then press G, then set to grab the cylinder on the set axis. Then press S then shift set to scale the object only on the x and y axis. And the inflow object will be the source of the water. So uh, let's uh, scale it a bit more on the x and y axis, s then shift set. And then let's go into edit mode. And then go to face select. Then select the face on the top and the bottom, hold and shift to select uh, multiple faces. Then press N and increase the mean increase value to 1, so that when we add the subdivision surface modifier, these two faces will stay flat. Okay, and then make sure to go into uh, object mode again, and apply the modifier. Now, let's make the domain a, a bit taller, so uh, select the uh, domain, then go into edit mode, then select the top face, then press G, then set to grab it on the set axis. Go back to object mode, and then select the cylinder, and then press G, then set to grab the cylinder on the z-axis as well. Now the next step is to add the sphere obstacle, so go to add, mesh, and then let's add a UV sphere. And then press G, then set to grab it on the z-axis. Then press S to scale. And then let's add a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of uh, vertices, and then apply the modifier. Okay, so now we have everything we need, so let's go into the uh, physics settings and add the uh, fluid simulation. So let's start off with the obstacle, go to flip fluids or fluid if you only have the default one, and uh, set it to obstacle. And then let's select the inflow object, flip fluids, and then set it to inflow. And the inflow velocity is the speed of the fluid that is created inside of the object. And we want that to have a strong negative value on the z-axis, so that it comes downward. And then we're going to select the domain, which is the boundary of the simulation, and set up the simulation settings. So flip fluid, and then domain. And let's start off by increasing the resolution, so let's set it to 300, if you use the uh, default uh, fluid simulator, you can also set it to 300. And uh, the preview will set to 300 as well. And uh, let's set the frame rate to 30, and then one subdivision. And a higher resolution and a higher number of subdivisions will increase the number of vertices, which will increase the quality of the simulation. So let's bake the simulation. Now the bake is done, so let's select the light, and then go into the light settings, change it into a sun, and let's set the strength to 15. Then press G to uh, grab, and R to rotate, and you can also press R, then set to rotate the sun on the set axis. Okay. So now we have the light, and let's go into the render settings, 
change to cycles. And you can also use the GPU for the rendering. I'm going to use the GPU later because the GPU rendering kind of messes up the recording. And let's set the um, number of samples to 400 for the uh, render and then 100 for the viewport. Okay. And then let's set up the uh, background image. So go to the world settings, change to uh, environment uh, texture, click open, and you can find the uh, background image in the link below. And I'm going to use the uh, Chelsea stairs. And these are free background images, by the way. And then open the HDR. And as you can see, when we go into rendered view, and uh, then press uh, numpad 5, you will see the background image. Okay, so let's go back to solid view and uh, set up the material for the water. So uh, click new. And we're going to use a uh, glass surface. Set the uh, roughness to zero and the IOR to four divided by three, which is 1.3333. And uh, then for the color, I'm going to give you the color coordinates. It's uh, slightly blue. And uh, then let's go into rendered view to see what it looks like. And as you can see, it looks great. And then the next step of this tutorial is to add a material for the uh, obstacle sphere. So uh, let's select the uh, sphere. And then click new. And then use the uh, glass uh, shader. Set the roughness to zero. And uh, let's make it blue. What color you choose is optional, but uh, you can use the same values if you want to. Okay, and let's go into rendered view to see what it looks like. And I think it looks okay. So uh, let's go back to solid view and then select the floor and then press S to scale. And uh, let's add a material for the floor as well. Let's use the diffuse shader and uh, make it slightly darker. And then once again, let's go into uh, rendered view. Okay, and then let's set up the camera. So let's go back to uh, solid view. And press numpad zero to uh, look through the camera. And then select the camera go into the camera settings and increase the end value so that the range of the camera increases. And then press N, go to view, and then lock the uh, camera to view. Okay, and then let's try to um, set the simulation in the middle of the camera. So something like this. And uh, then we can get into the uh, render settings and output settings. So uh, I'm going to use the GPU for the final render. And if you have a GPU, you should also increase the tile size. So I'll set it to 512. And if you only have a CPU, you can just use the CPU. And then let's set the frame rate to 30 FPS. And then you need a folder for the final animation. So just uh, create a folder wherever you want on the computer. Give the folder a name. And then select the folder and then give the animation a name. And uh, then let's make a test render. So go to render, let's set the display mode to the image editor so that a new window does not pop up. And then uh, let's render the image. And this is what it looks like after a few minutes of rendering. I'm also going to rotate the sun on the set axis. So press R then set to rotate the sun on the set axis. And then I'm going to render the file animation. So go to render and then render animation. 
And that's it for this tutorial. I'll post more Blender 2.8 tutorials very soon. So thank you guys for watching and subscribe.